have been here, I've been very uh, uh, impressed by the resourcefulness and uh, the efficiency of the people here. Nothing is wasted. Uh, things that we tend to throw away, uh, they find uh, another use or reuses. And what we're doing right now, or what they're doing, my friends, is they've taken a rice bag or a bean bag that delivered their food uh, and they're taking apart the strands, the individual strands. And what, what he starts is something that looks like this out of the individual strands. And he started a weave right here. And you can see this is about the length of the bag. But now what he's going to create out of this, out of each individual strand, will eventually turn into a rope that um, he has graciously sold to us. But this rope is as strong as anything. I don't know what test this would be, but uh, uh, this is incredible. It's uh, 20 feet long. I'm, I'm going to say it's 20 feet long. And uh, we're going to bring this back with us. But this uh, is definitely testament to the fact that these people are uh, not only resourceful, but very wise and very smart with uh, what they have got. We are in one of the villages in Wanamint and we've stopped for a little bit and we've handed some of the kids a few bottles of Sprite and water. There are about 10 or 15 kids here and one little boy has shared his bottle with all of the children. He's given them all a little bit of sip. We're out in front of the park in Wanamint, and we've noticed several of the boys in the neighborhood playing with the cars that they made on their, by themselves called La Machine. They've taken the, a milk bottle and taken the caps to make the wheels and a stick to make the axle. They don't have the option of going to a toy store like our children do, and they don't have a parent who would have the money to even buy the toy for them if they did. So they found a way to entertain themselves. Um, this little boy has made this toy. He's made it out of a plastic bottle that he's found on the side of the street. These are just bottle caps that he's found that's been thrown away. And the wheels are put on by a stick of which they buy hot dogs from a vendor. There's a little bit of sand. And then on the end you will see this is this appears to be the same string that came from the rice sacks. Awesome. We're getting ready to leave for a chicken run. We're going through the village and we're going to bless six to eight families today with food. The children from First United Methodist have raised over $500 and we have used that money to buy live chickens, rice, beans, oil, charcoal, and we're going to take it to some families in need.
We just are running some food for, from the food distribution to Romex's family. Romex um, and his sister both attend the Danita Children's School, and they're, this is their mother, and she's raising three children on her own. And we were just getting off the truck, and um, Lori, one of the visitors, was gonna had the chickens in her hand, and Romex quickly asked for the chickens because he wanted to hold them to bring them to his mom today. Um, you know, it's his way of showing he can help his family out, and he was just so proud to bring his mom food for their family, and um, it was just so cute to see him just be blessed to bless his mom. I just want to tell you about the story of this table for Odelia and her family. Um, they have a monthly sponsor that just wanted to bless them with a Christmas gift. And um, the best thing we could think of would be a table for all of them to sit down and eat um, their meals together in the evening that are provided for them by their sponsors. And so. Um, with 250 US dollars, we were able to get them a solid wood table with six chairs. And they, two, two of the little ones share a chair, and then every other person in the family has their own chair to sit at at night. And when I delivered the table, um, all the neighborhood came around and they all clapped. They were proud for Odelia to get the table rather than envious or jealous of her. And um, Odelia just started lifting up her hand and saying thank you Jesus and um, she just said that Jesus loves her so much and so um, she's just a really grateful woman and well deserving of the table and um, she looked at me and she said well now they will have a place to do their homework for school as well and um, so this table is the best thing she's ever gotten in her entire life for sure and just a gift that keeps giving.